and welcome back to Southwest Florida Woodworking. My name is Sean. Uh, what we've got here is our f first tool that I just got for the shop. It's a uh, Narex corner chisel. And a 3 8 inch. It's made in the Czech Republic. And when I got the tool, I bought, I bought it from Amazon. And when I bought the tool, I was pleasantly surprised. The um, thing is well made. It's completely polished, it came sharpened to a really good edge. And as you can see in the video here, I mean, I just took it and thumped my hand on it a couple of times and it's cutting very well. Uh, the reason I bought it was for corners, especially. Sometimes I can use it to clean up mortise corners or, you know, for doing hinges and stuff. It's kind of one of the best things to have. I mean, I've got one of those hammer style uh, corner chisels but I find these to work a lot better so I I've got one for doing hinge mortises and um, regular mortise joints you know I've, I've been trying to build up a lot of tools lately and well I've been trying to find the best deals possible. I mean, you know, I, I was really surprised by this chisel here. So it's one of those things that just kind of really caught my attention. From it being from the, you know, so the uh, previous Soviet bloc, it was a great surprise as to the quality. The next couple of things here is I bought a diamond plate um, from Amazon. It's a cheaper one, but I was surprised at how well it made it was. It's got a rough and a fine side. It's great for getting things to a flat edge. That's the reason I bought it, was so that I could straighten out some chisels that I have um, and some plain irons. I needed the rough side to do that, so I purchased it. It wasn't very expensive, uh, but it will do the trick. So, that was that. Now the next thing I've got here in the box this is a another thing that I purchased from Amazon it was very cheap but I was pleasantly surprised at the um, quality of it. It was It's put out by a company called Red Oak Tools. It's on Amazon. It's a wheeled marking gauge. Uh, granted, the wheels do not spin. But uh, the traveler there that goes up against the edge is all brass. The steel rod is hardened and that thumb screw is actually brass it's itself it has markings for inch and um, metric but usually when I set it I'll set it with either a caliper or a I'll just set it with the piece of material that I'm working on The, like I said, the the piece that's in my one hand here is all brass, and it's a hardened steel rod. I'm happy that the the screw itself is brass too, so that it. I tried cranking it down a couple of times on the far end, and it didn't mark the shaft at all because it's brass. Um, so it's 
seems to be a very decent tool. It's quite heavy in the hand. And the other good thing is that it did come with two extra cutters. Now I was looking at the cutters and they look like they could be sharpened. Um, I'll have to take a closer look at it, but I think that the cutters could be sharpened on a whetstone. I'll find out. Right at the moment they're sharp, so I'm not going to worry about it until then. But like I said, it's a it's a decent tool and the price that was paid is next to nothing. It's an inexpensive tool. I know there's quite a bit of sil dead silence here. I, there was some stuff that I was pointing out about some of the stuff that I've purchased, and um, it just I got, all got lost. You know, I, I like I, I've been saying you know, I prefer tools that are made in the U.S., but there are some stuff. There is some stuff out there that's probably um, really well and you know like that marking gauge and that chisel the, the first item there the chisel they're pretty well manufactured uh, like I said one's from the Czech Republic the other one's from China but it was in it's an excellent uh, piece of equipment to have so I'll see how it goes I mean the biggest thing is is to test the time I mean I'll come back and review it probably in uh, six months and see how it goes next item up here is something that I purchased from Lowe's and I got them for I got both of them for less than the price of one they had them on their clearance rack. They're Craig uh, bench clamps, these hold down clamps. Uh, because I don't have a uh, tail vise or anything like that, I was looking for, I've been trying to find a way to hold stuff on my bench while I'm working on it. And I happen to find these. Now they slide into those little holders. You screw the holders down with the big wing nuts and they they sit on the bench and then you press them down and they have varying um, pressures that you can set them to so they're quite good uh, they come with the pads they do have the rubber pads on the ends of the thing there you know you can see me I'm adjusting the uh, tension right there I was just dropping it right down to the bottom so that I can show how it clamps. But you just put it down, clamp it, and once it's secured to the bench, it does hold. I have used them, and they work very well. And if you go look in your the lows that you have next to you, they you might find them. Uh, if not, I, I would search for Craig I'm on Craig for Craig jigs. And they're known for their pocket holes, but the, these clamps here are uh, a good idea for bench work, especially because they will hold. So I um, have, like I said, I've used them, and they do work really well for holding things down. You know, it's just a matter of putting the bolt through the hole and drop it in a dog hole on your bench and put the screw the nut up. 
and then of course you have the hold down secure you can put whatever you want underneath it and it won't move I have been using them and they do work very well so if you can find them that would be great uh, to probably help you out quite a bit I would say they you can basically say they work like vice grips clamps uh, except that they're mounted to your bench instead of being in your hands so it works out that you can just stick it on there give it a uh, you know you just push it down and it's done it's secure now with your wood work bench top you may want to put some sort of uh, plate underneath that clamp fixture I have noticed on my bench especially when you go to press down the clamps the back side is kind of pushed down now the next thing here is something that I had said that I was going to do a review and I was going to do a video on um, refurbishing it and well I was going to video me refurbishing it and sharpening the blade and everything but uh, I had to use it so I cleaned it up and put it to use this is a clamp or a plane excuse me it's not a clamp it's a plane that I originally purchased and it was pretty well uh, rusty and everything else and you know I cleaned up the the salt the the shoe and the sides and everything and you know brushed out all the crap in it and cleaned up where the iron goes and then cleaned up the uh, the hold down the clamp for the iron and well this thing now works like it was made yesterday uh, you know I put a good edge on it and got it all adjusted up and it ready to go and this thing works excellent I've been using it for small trimming jobs and stuff and this thing's got a sharper blade than my plane does I mean uh, watch here it just goes and glides and does what it's supposed to do it's just a matter of getting the blade because I pulled the blade out it you just got to get it in the right position and once it's in the right position this thing will cut like nobody's business like I said trying to get it to go here is going to be kind of hard but all in all it's turned out to be an excellent uh, bullnose plane that I got from eBay so thanks for watching this is Sean Thank you.